Good evening to you all. I'm Theresa Miria and thank you for joining me on the 47th episode of House and Home. This is the eighth day of the last month of 2015. Obviously, time is flying so fast, so it is important that parents need to watch out for their children and make sure that everyone is safe so that you can enjoy the Christmas and the New Year's celebrations. Anyways, moving on to tonight's show for our lineup, we have Cooking with House and Home, Plus Belong Yumi, Shopping with Brian Bell, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Animal Plus, and finally, Origin Energy Guest Talk. So to begin the show tonight, here's Cooking with House and Home, showing us one of Chef Roger Fregler's delicious recipes. Recipes. Enjoy. Good evening, viewers. I'm going to do Yaba banana chicken in coconut milk today. It is another local um, kai kai. I got um, tulip in there and uh, some pumpkin tip and some chicken, boneless chicken, coconut milk, and um, onions, chopped garlic, and a bit of tumbuna salt, ginger, and uh, fresh garlic as well. Add some oil onto it. Three spoons. Got a bit of chicken over there. I actually will uh, like to use some um, sliced onions for this one. A bit of sliced onions. Saute the onions a little bit, like a golden brown. You can get the sea onions are coming softer now. I'll add my chicken into this now. Chicken takes a bit of time to cook. Stir up the chicken. Just to make sure all the sides are brown. While chicken is cooking there, I get my uh, pumpkin tips and tulip. So it's nice fresh uh, pumpkin tip picked up from the market in the morning. And tulip also. I'll add the tulip in first. The tulip takes a long time to cook. And now I add the coconut milk. And cover it so it steams up. And this um, local kai kai also from Mamase region. So it is again, all of you can cook at home and entertain your want talks, families, whoever. And while that is cooking, I'll get my uh, bananas peeled. Banana doesn't take much time to cook. So peel the bananas. And this banana, you need to take some uh, like a semi-ripe bananas, not too green and not fully ripe as well. These bananas are not very big, so that's okay. Give it a stir again. And 
Now I add bit of garlic. A little bit more. Garlic is good for your health, so don't afraid to take it. And a bit of locally made salt. Now we add the bananas. and the pumpkin tips and it's almost ready and finally a bit of cracked pepper and I add a little bit of uh, capsicum for it not chili is capsicum. Just a bit. Add the capsicum last minute because it should be nice and crunchy. That looks good. That looks really delicious. All right, it's done. Let me plate it out. I actually got these uh, coconut shells, so I'm going to put it in a coconut shell to have it more local. And a banana. Need a pumpkin tip. Another one. Okay, you have a banana with chicken Chef Roger style. That was Cooking with House and Home, where we got to see Chef Roger prepare one of his best recipes. If you're someone who loves trying different types of recipes, please do continue to tune into House and Home so that you see more new recipes. Stay tuned for more after the break. Welcome back. For this week's edition on Plus Yumi, let's join my colleague Mark Goyna Jr. as he unfolds the story of his amazing adventure in one of Papua New Guinea's beautiful provinces, his Plus Yumi. Enjoy. Hi viewers and welcome to another Plus Belong Yumi edition brought to you by our friends at PNG Air for being the official airline carrier of the House and Home program. Now everywhere you go you always want to bring back something special or a souvenir just to remember that fantastic place by. Well here at Walindi they have a boutique shop to do exactly that called Walindi Boutique and it is run by Cecily Benjamin. Here's how you can know more about this fantastic shop.
Walindi Boutique runs as part of the Walindi Plantation Resort located in Kimbe, West New Britain Province. It is run by Cecily Benjamin. She established the boutique over 10 years ago. Her reason being, she saw that many of the international visitors and some locals always wanted to take back a piece of PNG just to remember their experiences from when they were there. And so she has decided to make a collection of different items, including shirts, bags, and coffee, and so on and so forth, from different provinces to sell to the visitors. She does not only make collection from within the country, but abroad as well, including from Thailand, Indonesia, and Hawaii. Let's listen to more she has to say. As we know, there's very good crafts in Papua New Guinea from all carvings all over the country. So there's also other things. There's things like uh, cards with designs and there's coffee from Papua New Guinea, which is very famous. Sometimes maps of, of areas. Uh, just a little piece of PNG that people like to take back to remember a wonderful stay. And when they come, do they enjoy seeing all this wonderful things? Yes, they do. I spend a lot of time telling them where uh, particular carvings come from, particularly the Sepik area, and Milne Bay, uh, New Ireland, Tammy Island, uh, all over, and, and local as well. But uh, I've had very long associations with some of the, the carvers and the people that put collections together, Papua New Guinea. Commercially, she buys the arts and crafts from artists from around the country and abroad. She has had very long association with the carvers, including a very particular one that absolutely amazed me. But uh, I have some very, very long-term relationships in, in this sort of thing with some people. In fact, there's even a man and he's deceased now, but his family I still deal with for about 30 years. Now let us have a look at the first item products available at the boutique. Okay, so many of the carvings come from all over Papua New Guinea. For example, here's a seahorse from Milne Bay. And people love the inlay and the, the very good quality woods that people uh, carve with. And then we've got Chambry Lakes uh, from the Sepik and other areas of the Sepik. Uh, some of the local uh, carvings are from the Combi area, the other side of the Willamere's Peninsula, uh, are items like these, uh, seahorses, uh, dolphins, um, etc. So people often ask about the local carvings as well. Yes. She also has some certainly interesting bags that she sells for both men and women. This includes a reversible inside-out bag, and a bag she had bought in Hawaii. These bags look absolutely great and trust me, you wouldn't regret buying this authentic artwork. Cecily also sells a range of shirts that are of different colors, shapes and sizes. Particularly this famous one authentically from one lady of course, about a pack of orcas or killer whales that pass by Kimber Bay every once a year. We sometimes see every Every year we have a sighting of orcas uh, or killer whales in the bay and it's a very, very special event. So what we try to do is, is capture something special of, of the area, particularly the marine area. So when the orcas visit, it's a very special time. And on the back, we have the various areas where people dive as a souvenir of where they've been. Now let us look at the two books based on real events, which Cecily finds so appealing to her and for sure will be to everyone that visits the boutique as it had historical significance. The School That Fell From The Sky is about Fred Hagesheimer, a World War II United States Air Force pilot who was shot down in the area quite close to us here and the local villagers saved him and uh, uh, so it's a very special story. At the end of the war, he came back to Papua New Guinea and built a school. It's now at Awasi, 
further up near Biala, and it's called the Airmen's Memorial School. This book uh, by Jack Reed talks about his time as being a coast watcher in Bougainville. And both these books are sold uh, in Moresby uh, from the distributor to fund the Airmen's Memorial School uh, Fund. Thank you, Cecily. You are an absolute wonderful woman. Everything you're selling here, including this Barnes coffee, is definitely worth the buying. And viewers, if you are a local here, please come and pay the boutique shop a visit here at Walindi Plantation Resort. Or if you live outside of the provinces or outside of Kimbe, PNG Air will be more than glad just to fly you over here only because they provide the best airline services here in PNG. Until then, once again, a big thanks to PNG Air for making this Plus Belong Yumi edition possible. I'm Marco Inagenia. See you next time. There you go, viewers. Place Belong Yumi showing the Walindi Boutique in the West New Britain province of Papua New Guinea. What a beautiful place to be. Thanks, Mark, for that. When we come back after the break, we take a look at shopping with Brian Bell. Welcome back, you're watching House and Home if you just tuned in. Now let's take a look at Shopping with Brian Bell. Here's Jane Tokilala. Hello viewers, I'm Jane Takilala and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. Most of us have heard of the saying, Jack of all trades, master of none, or the term DIY or do it yourself. A trend has developed over the past few years where homeowners do not want to call tradesmen to come in and perform a job where they could have done themselves. For example, fixing a light bulb, changing your staircase, fixing a leaking tap, there are countless activities. In tonight's episode, I will inform you on what's available at Brian Bell's hardware department. We can supply for all your DIY operations. So if you're a home indie man, listen closely because I will show you some of the products which we can supply for you. A must-have for DIYs is power tools. It saves you time and improves your work. Hyundai produces cordless power tools. This kit contains six power tools that can all be charged with the one charger and run off an 18-volt battery. The kit contains a two-speed mechanical drill. This would take the effort out of manually screwing things together. It has a torque selector, forward and reverse switch and rubber grip for comfort. A sender with two pieces of sending sheets, a jigsaw, including two blades, a circular saw, including 136 mm blade, which has a lock of button and a lower blade guard as safety features, depth adjustment and bevel adjustment, sharp lock and straight guide. 
There is a LED cordless lamp with a 180 degree rotational head for the hard to reach places and a reciprocating saw including two reciprocating blades. We have an alternative option for the power drill. The high touchy cordless power drill is operated by a rechargeable battery and has more accessories for those who find they have a greater need for a drill rather than purchasing the Hyundai kit. In saying that, the individual items in the power kit can be purchased on their own. Imagine all the jobs you could complete, the speed in which you finish it and how good it would look. If power tools is not to your liking, then we have a wide range of carpentry tools that would bring out the true craftsman in you. Load your tool belt with quality tools from Brian Bell. We have hammers, pliers, levelers, axe saws, saws and tape meshes. If you need all these items, then a tool belt won't cut it. What you need is a toolbox which we stock in various sizes. I'm certain you will find something that suits you. A toolbox is a handy thing that it keeps all the available tools in one place and you won't need to spend more money replacing them. Other tools that could fit in your toolbox are spanners, shifting spanners ranging from 8 inches to 12 inches, screwdrivers in small, medium and large sizes, paint brushes, nails, putty for filling gaps in odd places and extensive range of locks, scrapers, silicone spray, wood adhesives, feet extension cables, light buttons and many more. We even have products for the menial DIY task that plague every home. We stock a range of car related products, care kits which you can use to clean the inside of your car and wipe down with a car cloth, wrench pipes, transmission fluid and car wax shower power and oven power to remove the stubborn stains and mold. For that deck, you would need some turpentine to get rid of the existing coat of paint and a varnish to bring out the life in the timber of the deck. Once you have purchased these tools and have them safely stored in your toolbox, your imagination is your only limitation. You can create, upgrade, dismantle, build and fix anything that you like. So why argue over irritating problems or issues in your house when you can actually fix it yourself by purchasing the mentioned products? Everybody wins. Your home is attractive, functional and safe, whilst your husband has become the weekend warrior that battles on the DIY operations frontier. With the help of Brian Bell's products, of course. All the products mentioned are available at your nearest Brian Bell home center. Congratulations to our week 5 winners and make sure you grab your Christmas catalog and shop to win this Christmas. Now you know you can turn to us simply because you're backed up by Brian Bell's warranty, service and spare parts. So remember, great products, great prices, that's Brian Bell. Until next time, good night. That was Shopping with Brian Bell with Jane showcasing the power tools that are currently available at the hardware department. Most men would need this item, so please drop by and have a look around. When we come back after the break, we'll take a look at Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited.
Good evening, viewers, and welcome once again to this Healthy Mind edition with Dr. Ambi. I'm Godwin Eki, and thanks for your company. Now, this evening, we'll be talking about organic psychosis. Now, organic psychosis is a very common uh, issue in tropical countries, and that's exactly why we're here tonight with Dr. Ambi to explain to us more on what organic psychosis is. Dr. Ambi, thanks for having me on the show. Thank you so much. I have to say thank you because after a long time we are catching up. Yes. Oh, good rain. So, <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Yes. Can you tell our viewers what organic psychosis is? Well, good rain and viewers, um, um, big plus something or same good rain talk. Yeah? Low organic psychosis and one plus kind uh, psychosis is uh, one of the major mental illnesses and usually affecting the brain because all psychosis do affect the brain. But this one, is especially it good when it starts. Uh, country to some kind of damage or insult to the brain so it like you said yeah. it's a very important thing because it can cause death or serious disability so it's a one of the one type of uh, major mental illness which is coming out of uh, secondary to some kind of uh, damage to the direct damage to the brain cells itself so just for our viewers um, how does it occur well, what are the so, signs yeah, and the, symptoms? Uh, yes. Now, uh, I, I think before we talk about the signs, maybe like you said, how it can occur, it, that yeah. means it's like uh, the causes. Viewers, one plus something is also same infective causes. That means like you can have malaria, typhoid, yeah. or kind of like a TB, or kind of kind infections, because, you know, tropical countries have got so many viral infection, bacterial inf infections, which ac affects the brain, no? the M yeah. M affecting more straight because I'm goal of blood so by bagrapim kuruboloyumi. So if that is like infective, that means uh, some kind of infection to the brain cells itself. It's one of them. Um, so, mm -hmm. Dr. Yeah. Ambi, are you saying that we don't just get the uh, the disease straight up? It comes through other diseases yes. and then we contract. That's correct. Okay. So the infections means it's okay. One of the thing is like it get into the blood system by like virus or bacteria or kind kind infection. You by kissing blow road and about na airborne or one em yeah. Emi by go inside the blood good mm. win na viewers. Em by go inside na bagrapim kurblo you me yeah. M one plus something and nambla narpla or same blood trauma. Trauma means like or same injury like people do have accidents yep. uh, like car accidents or kind like a domestic violence or kind kind yeah you punch him or boxing or this like kind yeah you throw my gohan or one kind something name can bugger up him kurublo you me so that's one like epilepsy epilepsy is like a gurian and about now you kiss him low infection or kind kind way low bugger up him trauma basically the accidents to the to mm. and it causes them number three is intoxication that means like it can be chemicals or some blood time you down him all chemicals, nothing without you knowing, attempted suicide or alcohol or kind kind uh, drugs or even illegal drugs or legal drugs can cause this issue. Number five, tumor. Anything which makes uh, growth on your kuru itself, uh, or same tumor ca or cancer, yeah. by you working with some uh, come up with brain straight now, you know, personality changes now mm. by uh, this la kind sick too by come up. Number five, or same hormones in the body and changes penis or like or some diabetes or kind kind different hormones and, and produce from the brain itself mm. something when it goes not right like thyroid or yes. this like kind and can cause him issue low organic psychosis now some blood time low aging like they say like parkinson's or uh, dementia yeah. or this like kind yeah and so variety of things you know there is not only these things but like hiv aids or heart problems if you have a stroke, uh, whatever happens in the body, na emi pine well or bagrapim kuruble yumi. So uh, that's what we say that it can be dangerous. It can cause death. It can cause some kind of uh, kind law bagrapim, you know, thing thing blow man or passing blow man. Suppose you know kiss him. So when we say like oh serious mental illness, like you see some of them walk on the streets and they talk to themselves and this la kind yeah. Emi all right because uh, even they say oh I'm long long or this la kind talk talk law you mean yeah em em suppose this la kind suppose em miss yeah em can cause him death so you're saying stigmatizing yeah like stigmatizing because we are seeing the, the other kind of mental illness which can overshadow this one mm. 
So it's important for the family to know that all in, in any case, if somebody is talking nonsense, or like we will talk about the signs yeah. and symptoms. So if you think that person is not behaving right, don't think I mean kind blow you me lo, lo, talk about lo culture. Yeah, I am stigmatizing them. Oh, long, long, yeah. This is like kind musky mm. because this this sick, yeah. Every time we go, that's what we tell them, go to the accident and emergency. Because all by kissing or blood about, 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 check him good through before Salim go or Laloki or Ward 6 or kind, because this la kind causes can kill him all man. Okay. You know, you know, also mental health like schizophrenia or manic depressive, and we got not a kind way of present him. So you me, you know, can think him also more, more right. But it's good for take you to the hospital early as possible so that you can prevent them from dying or other things. Thank you, Dr. Ambi. I know you're telling our viewers about the causes of organic psychosis. Yes. What about the detection, the signs and symptoms? Yes, that's very important. I, I'm sure viewers are also waiting to hear that. Yes. Okay, now. When you say talk about organic psychosis, what happens? It starts sometimes very acutely or slowly. That means like uh, that we say it as very gradually because sometimes when there is a bleeding into the brain, you know, that's called subarachnoid hemorrhage or subdural hematoma. Look, you know, when you're there as a blow, you may not know you are bleeding in. So, so you're saying internal bleeding? Internal or? bleedings okay. also can cause. So the these things can start slowly and gradually or acute that means fast so is there a specific um, sign or symptom yes. that people can that's literally correct. pick out and say that's this is that you that's, know it's yeah first of all they will look confused okay. all by talk talk uh, cranky na all talk talk nonsense now by you will say common problems all come up with and they can't concentrate the attention concentration is going off yeah. and he may not be able to recognize the person suppose you know uh, you suppose you kiss him this like I and sick now you by looking all uh, mama na papa na baitong em busat so you can't recognize the per a person and another thing and they they feel feel that they are... Does, does that, yeah. Are you saying that there's a hallucination thing going yes, on? Yes, yes. But this one, they can't remember the person, okay. the attention, concentration, memory, memory intelligence. And that's called cognitive. cognitive. That's the higher function of the brain. Okay. That goes off because the brain cells are uh, in, in disaster now, yeah. okay? So then along with that, they feel that their people are against them, the people are trying to harm them or poison them. They Now comes to the hallucination, they may hear voices talk to them where there is nobody there. Mm. But the common thing, visual hallucination, that means they see things through to look at something and stuff. That's called visual hallucination. Eh? So these are some of the issues also you will see. And the daytime, that the whole thing is Issues is they they can't recognize and the, uh, the you will find that they can't really the whole the daytime they all by confusing more yet and he may be unable to make a good judgment and also distance in the time and space so you by all by walk about go nothing him it's called illusion the step seven step nine by putting leggy goal on our plus side but mm -hmm. through through step you know step but that's what is called uh, in, misinterpretation of the space and distance yeah. and time and and they, you know, uh, you know, all in the night they get more restless than the daytime. So like light and by bagrapi more yet, not confused more yet. So that's what we need to really do the blood test to know what exactly is causing, like full blood, blood sugar, blood cholesterol, uh, kidney, because even kidney problems can cause anything which touches the body. Emigat, tripla, heavy by come up low brain blow you me. So we do blood tests and x-rays and uh, kind kind urine test and about or same time we plug all A and E or doctors, they will do all the tests on earth <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that no got naraplak cause because if you miss the cause yeah. it can cause death so and the other thing when we treat them we treat them with antipsychotic yeah. uh, and also like uh, you know diazepam and diazepam is like anxiolytic to calm the person down and sleep good and rest or same antipsychotics is like to get those uh, psychotic uh, symptoms to go away yes now I know we're talking about signs and symptoms, but yeah. what about prevention and how can we treat uh, yes. organic psychosis? Well, you told, this is like how you treat, suppose you kiss him sick or okay, all you got, you must get the admitted and you get the treatment early, you can be cured. 
but otherwise there is a high chance of major disability or death or this la kind okay prevention well take care of yourself good exercise prevent from communicable diseases don't get acutely intoxicated with a drug and go car accidents and mm. head injuries and about so the prevention is to take care of your health and make sure no communicable diseases are coming eat properly do good exercise and right. uh, sleep good rest and relax and good dieting and you know strengthen and get a good social support good housing good you know you can prevent all kind this like kind communicable and non communicable diseases so once you stop all these things obviously you can prevent uh, this kind of sicknesses yes well thank you very much dr ambi uh, viewers i hope you've learned so much about uh, how you can prevent yourself from organic psychosis as well as how you can uh, look after your loved ones thank you so much for watching this edition with dr ambi i'm godwin eki good night This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Welcome back. Next on the lineup, we have for you Animal Place with House and Home. Enjoy. Hi and welcome to Animal Place. I am so glad you could join me and I believe you have been enjoying this fantastic adventure on continuously getting to know the different types of animal species here in Papua New Guinea, especially the ones that are kept here at the Port Mosby Nature Park for safe breeding and for educational purposes. Well, for now, we'll be looking at one of the most aggressive and dangerous predators known as the saltwater crocodile. Let's go find out. The saltwater crocodile is the Earth's largest living crocodilian. It is the largest of all living reptiles as well as the largest terrestrial and riparian predator in the world. It has a wide snout compared to most crocodiles. However, it has a longer muzzle than the mugger crocodile. Its length is twice its width at the base. The saltwater crocodile has fewer armor plates on its neck than other crocodilians. On this species, a pair of ridges runs from the eyes along the center of the snot. The scales are oval in shape and the scutes are small compared to other species. The head is very large. The teeth are also long with the largest teeth, the fourth tooth from the front on the lower jaw, having been measured to 9 cm in length. If detached from the body, the head of a very large male crocodile can reportedly weigh over 200 kg. The saltwater crocodiles are pale yellow in color with black stripes and spots on their bodies and tails. This coloration lasts for several years until the crocodiles mature into adults. Their tails are gray with dark bands. Due to their size and distribution, saltwater crocodiles are the most dangerous extant crocodilian to humans. This creature here eats just about anything, and I mean anything that comes its way is turned into its meal. I wonder what it eats in the wild compared to its diet here in captive. Let's take a look. This creature is a very formidable and hyper carnivorous ambush predator capable of taking almost any animal that enters its territory, including fish, birds, reptiles, mammals, including other predators. These creatures hunt the broadest range of prey species of any modern crocodilian. The larger the animal grows, the greater the variety of its diet, although relatively small prey are taken throughout its lifetime. Large mud crabs are mostly consumed 
especially in mangrove habitats, and applies to most of the ground-dwelling birds such as emu and different kinds of water birds are also commonly preyed upon. Here at the nature park, it feeds on cold raw chicken. Mr. Bebe, you have been so helpful and I really, really do appreciate your exceptional knowledge of just about every animal that is kept here at the park. And I still can't wait to know and learn more about this saltwater crocodile especially. So first of all, where was this creature captured? Trisha, this uh, creature, the saltwater crocodile, was captured up in Brown River. Basically, this creature is a saltwater crocodile, but it also can stay in a fresh water. Uh, it was captured by the locals up in Brown River and was brought down to us. How was it actually caught and how long have you been keeping it here at the park? Uh, this saltwater crocodile was quite young when the villagers caught it up at uh, Brown River. They actually, what they did was that they set up a trap and then they caught this uh, saltwater crocodile. Uh, it's been here for almost seven years now in a, at the Port Mosby Nature Park because for um, education purposes. So it's a freshwater crocodile, but a uh, saltwater crocodile, but it, it can adapt to fresh water. Great. Lastly, how many times do you feed it in a day? Basically, crocodiles, they come under the group of uh, this family group of animals called reptiles. They basically are ectotherms, meaning that uh, the surrounding, so the, the body temperature is determined by the surrounding, so external sources. Uh, that is why they are, being, they are being fed once a week. Uh, the right time for feeding this crocodile is when it's sunny during the afternoon, so around 2, 2, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That is when this saltwater crocodile is being fed by the animal keepers. Well, my friends, it's time I leave you here, but please don't forget to join us next time to learn more about the native wildlife. Yes, do join us next time on Animal Plus. It's bye for now. That was Animal Plus with House and Home showing one of Papua New Guinea's native species known as the kookaburra. After the short breather, we take a look at the Origin Energy guest talk. Hello viewers, I am Henry Maipu and thank you once again for joining us on another episode of Origin Gas Talk. We continue with our eight block awareness of our safety with gas campaign. We've already covered why cook with gas in our second segment. And last week, we demonstrated the correct way of connecting your gas safely and disconnecting your gas safely without either problem arises or for simple need of just refilling your gas bottle. In this episode of Origin Gas Talk, we will go through and demonstrate certain ways on how you should lift your gas cylinder safely without causing injury to yourself or to others. Now, before we get straight into it, let's have a look at the different sizes that are available, especially for use within the home, domestic use or supplied for commercial usage. You will find in a number of households these various sizes of gas cylinders, a 4.5 kg, 9 kg and the 13 kg. All depending on your frequent use of gas, you can choose from the cylinders available, the preferred size of gas cylinder that suit your lifestyle best. Our LP gas is available nationwide from our depot, authorized dealers and leading hardware stores. Now continuing on with our eight blocks of safety awareness, lifting your gas safely. Be aware that all gas cylinders carry a weight. Depending on the size, the larger the cylinder, the heavier it will be. It becomes a whole lot heavier, especially when the gas cylinder is full. We are going to note some pointers for you to follow through to avoid unwanted injuries. Whenever you are loading or unloading a gas cylinder, it is a must that you keep your spine as straight as possible and only bend your knees. Do not bend your back. 
Bending your back in the process of lifting and unloading a heavy item may result in straining your back muscles, causing a back injury. With a small cylinder, you may need to be inclined to lift the gas cylinder with one hand. When doing this, you would need to support yourself with your other hand by placing that hand on the right thigh to support yourself as you push up. By doing this, most of your weight is distributed and gives more comfort. You should never use one hand to lift without supporting yourself. In the process of moving your gas bottle, you will need to avoid overreaching or straining. To do so, keep your feet close to the cylinder and bend at the knees. Don't try to reach over, in any case, in a standing position. Take note that smaller cylinders, such as a 4.5 kg, 9 kg, and 13 kg need to be carried. This requires you to use your safe handling techniques. This means to carry with palms facing forward. It is always wiser to have assistance to carry the cylinder from either side of the gas bottle, but the same rules apply. These are very simple and practical steps on correct ways to lift and carry your gas bottle. These are quite easy to follow. If you would like a copy of this flyer, please call Origin Office. The contact details are appearing on the screen. Also, last week you would have seen our Origin Gas Talk episode brought to you from Origin House Cook at Cots. You can call in there as we have flyers made available there or visit our nearest depot closest to you. Also, if you would like to catch this particular segment or our past segments of Origin Gas Talk on House and Home, you can log on to MTV website www.mtv.com.pg to view this episode or episodes prior. Origin Energy has been in the energy business for over 40 years, saving the people of PNG. I mentioned earlier in the show that our LP gas is available nationwide. We are present in Port Mosby, Lei, Rabaul, KVN, Alatau, Goroka, and Mount Hagen. Thank you again, viewers, for joining me on another episode of Origin Gas Talk. I look forward to your company once again next time, where we continue on our eight block safety awareness campaign. Because of the nature of the product, LP Gas, Origin prides on safety as the core value, and we feel socially responsible as a corporate citizen to extend this culture of our customers, and of course, you, our valued viewers. Also remember to keep a lookout for Uncle Gasman appearance at any of our origin LP Gas dealer. And remember, LP Gas, life made easier. Have a good evening. There you go, viewers. That was the Origin Energy Gas Talk with Henry Maipu showing the safe ways to carry and lift your gas cylinders. All right, viewers, this is where I leave you. But before I go, thanks for keeping me company. And please don't forget to join us next time, same place, same time here on House and Home. And please to visit our Facebook page, like it, and tell us what you'd like to see more of in the program. And remember, that's more you can get out for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. I'm Teresa Miria, and as usual, on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night, take care, and enjoy the rest of the week. Home, yeah, yeah. We care about